Okay, starting this session with the BMW M3. We'll see what we can do. I'm not convinced. And I'm not convinced because I've been in this start a couple times. And this car just can't accelerate. I don't even know what acceleration means. It is it's like, what? I don't want to go forward? Huh? Beat them? How do you want me to beat them? How do you want me to beat them? I'm a I'm a I'm an engine with cylinders and I bank pistons and I don't I don't I don't know. I'm gonna just stop for a bit. It's like BMW is learning what a car could do. And uh it's like yeah, we're uh, motorworks uh, motor working uh, we're working on the cars. Uh we 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 make a sports car it's like a box. Uh aerodynamics, uh, forget about that. We just we don't need aerodynamics and uh, yeah. I don't I really never understood what the what the idea was with cars from that period. They look ugly as anything and So I think what's making me struggle here is the uh, I just need to shift properly. Surprise, surprise. And I'm also using this as a live padding. So that I can get uh, across, you know, really take the elbows out, you know, really take the, the stewards by surprise, by storm. Take the racing world by storm by my cheatery tactics. Uh, yeah. I'm saying dumb stuff because I'm tired. But yeah, the, the, the oh, look how ugly the orange lights were. Look how ugly the times were back then. Look how sad things were back then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we can even make it close to a win in this car. I, I don't see. <laughs> not getting anywhere. Obviously, I slowed down way too much as well because I don't trust the brakes on this thing for whatever reason. Uh, it's. It's. I'll say. It's maneuverable. Let's just say. It also looks hilariously tall. I have a thing against tall cars, and it seems like all the cars this day are big and tall. I don't like tall sports cars, it's ugly. This one is super ugly. Sorry if you like this car. I think it's ugly. Uh, I wouldn't even take the time to simulate it in the game. No, I'm kidding. I'm sure, I'm sure some people are looking at this car and thinking, what, what, what in the world does he have against that car? <laughs> it reminds me of good souvenirs or something. <laughs> but, uh... You'll see, when I get to the Lotus, I'm like, oh, okay, that's a respectable car. Oh, that looks... It looks pretty. That's a pretty car. This one is. I just car by the looks, not by the engine. So, uh, but this one neither has the looks nor the engine apparently because I can't get anywhere. So that's not helping me. You know, like if at least I could get somewhere with this car, I would gain my respect. But right now, uh huh. So uh, I, as you can see, I didn't even help it. I didn't even shift properly because I, I just dislike it that much. You know? I don't even want it to succeed. It's a car that won't succeed in life. It's a car that fails. Fail miserably. If you'll fail, and I'm gonna fail with you, better fail miserably. Uh, said no one ever. I'm seventh out of eighth position, and the only reason why I could get ahead of the other car is that I'm also an old dingy car. So, this is a wonderful race. Um, at least I can break. I have some brakes to take it two seconds to heat up. Because, uh, yeah, that's one thing. Depending on the brake compound, it'll heat up and get better with time. You just don't want to do, uh, like I did on my car and overheat your. What's it called? Braking fluid. Otherwise, you get uh, brakes that just go completely mush. And, uh, that's a nice experience. You're on track and you have no brakes. It's happened to me. Was it scary? No, uh, I can, I can keep it. I, I got to the parking lot and I could hardly park. So just no brakes left. What happens is the brake fluid will boil. And see, that's an experience that you don't have in the simulator, but yeah. Brake fluid boils. When that happens, air pockets form inside the brake fluid. And when that happens, the brake fluid is compressible. And when that happens, your brake pedal goes to the floor. And when that happens, you screw it. So. Uh, 
uh, the other thing that changes is the brake pad. So when you change to racing brake pads, this is why they do laps around the track. It's not to look cool or anything. It's just because they want to warm up their brake pads and their tires. Because the brake pads operate in a certain optimal temperature range and to be able to resist higher temperatures, the brake pad needs a compound that it resists higher temperatures, but that means that the braking temperature window is relatively narrow and remains ideal only when it's very hot. So, you need to put a bit of heat in the brake pad, and once it's hot, then it brakes well. When it's cool, it doesn't brake so much. And it'll squeal like crazy. It's carbon brake. So that's what happens. Uh, so having brake pads for the track is completely different to having normal brake pad brake pads for the highway. In fact, um, you know, brake pads for the highway are made for low dust and um, being able to brake. You know, you can leave in the morning, get on the highway, get in the entrance, and then get on the exit, brake, and you'll have a full brake response. Whereas go do that with the racing brake pads, it'll feel a bit of a difference and it'll feel a bit mush um, the first few minutes. Or if you've been on the highway a long time without touching the brake, the brakes have cooled down and they don't react the same way as when you have used them for a couple times. And they give off a ton of dust that bites into your paint eventually, so that's a nice thing. So yeah, having your car ready for the track is all those things to take into consideration. Really expensive brake pads that don't work well in normal circumstances, or well, I mean, they work fine, but they don't work optimally. And um, same thing with race fluid, uh, brake fluid. Brake fluid accumulates water with time because it's called hygroscopic. And because of that water absorption, um, water has a lower boiling point. Uh, Did I say that correctly? Lower? Yeah, lower. So it'll boil more easily than the brake fluid. And uh, that's not good because that means that it'll boil more quickly and add some bubbles into your brake fluid more quickly. And that means that you're not going to brake, which means you're going to have a rough day at the end of the session. You know, the beginning of the session is fine. And as you do your fifth lap, you start noticing that uh, you're not braking so well and you're starting to depend on the the engine break. Okay, seventh place. That's the best we could do. Better luck next time.